Since it was launched last Friday, the WannaCry ransomware attack has gathered headlines around the world. Uh, in the UK, the National Health Service has suffered, but many hundreds of thousands of computers around the globe have been affected. But the focus has been on the security elements of the attack. There's been very little focus on the ransom element of the attack, on how the money is being paid uh, and what sort of money is being paid and how we can respond uh, to this, what is essentially a financial crime. As of today, Tuesday, about $60,000 have been paid in, in ransom. Uh, that's, about, uh, that's payments from about 200 uh, different accounts, equivalent to about 36 bitcoins. But interestingly, these payments have been made to only three bitcoin accounts. A rookie error, some would argue, because monitoring those three accounts and, and noting what happens when and if the, the, the bitcoins are cashed out uh, is remarkably easy. So it brings into question, why has the attack been launched? Was it really for the cash? Or was it actually just to demonstrate a capability uh, and to create confusion uh, and disruption around the world? Whatever the reason is, it will be very difficult for the WannaCry the, the wanna ransomers to use the ransoms that they, they've raised. It will be easy for the authorities to monitor those Bitcoin accounts and to identify who is cashing those out into fiat currency, into hard currency uh, to use um, outside the, the virtual world. What this also highlights is the importance of continued partnership around the world in tackling financial crime. This is a ultimate transnational uh, crime uh, and to respond to that we're going to need partnership between law enforcement around the world. But we're also going to need the involvement of the private sector. This again uh, is a crime that crosses between the public sector and the private sector and therefore a public-private partnership response is what's required. It remains to be seen whether this is a, whether this is a crime for profit or whether this is a crime uh, to demonstrate disruptive capability. But what it underlines once again is that finance is a critical element in investigating uh, uh, such crimes and that the focus on financial crime in the cyber world is as important as it is in the real world.